What's up YouTube, it's Zombie Kangaroo here and uh, I'm going to be showing you about a program called Rain Meter. Um, you can download that at rainmeter.net and right here if you scroll down the page you'll see a zip file version of it or an installer version of it. I chose the installer version and then it asks you for 32-bit or 64-bit to figure out what uh, type of system you're running on. Hit start right click your computer hit properties and your system type should say what operating system you're running on or not operating well it will say your operating system but it will also tell you what bit your um, computer system is um, so we'll minimize that for now let's go ahead and launch rain meter And as you can see, I all these configurations come up the whole way across my screen. And if you haven't noticed, I am using dual monitors, so it stretches, you know, pretty far. Um, anyhow, let's get into how to basically run Rain Meter because when I first started running Rain Meter, it did take me a good, you know hour or two just to figure out how to do some stuff so for the new people I'm just going to you know just tell you a few things so first off rain meter is running it's uh, just pretty much all the kinds of stuff on your desktop uh, it's desktopography to be honest with you um, in your toolbar down here there should be a rain meter icon if you right click the rain meter icon it will all these are all the configurations you're running. A configuration is a single one of these. So say my Y bores time, that Y bores time is over here and that is this config. Right there. And you can see what the name of it is by right clicking the configuration, hit scan menu and go to the top and it'll say. And then you can choose a few different things about this configuration so you can you know have it so you can click through it where if you just click it'll click through it snap to the edges of your screen you can hide it on mouse over set the transparency so if you want it to show through your desktop you can set that and the position a little bit more on the config side um, if you right click your rain meter icon and go to configs then you have all your installed configs here um, I think it comes with Enigma and Tranquil if I'm not mistaken you can download more configs and put them in your configs folder so you can have even more customized in your desktop so for instance with the configurations if let's say you want to get rid of this clock well first of all you can move it around if you want to and position it in another position in your desktop just if you want to get rid of it just right click it and go to skin menu and hit close skin so then the clock disappears if you want to get it back you can either right click on your rain meter icon or you can also click on one of the configurations that are already up if you right click on that and go to configs then you just have to find it again so mine is in HUD vision skins white and it is clock vision and then all you should do is hit it and it comes back up and you can move that around to whatever suits you need rain meter can also be used as uh, more important things such as monitoring your system stats or your network stats um, has the date or you can set up monitoring your drives so for instance you can see that I'm running a quad core processor so there is opportunity for it to monitor all four cores as you can see it's going pretty crazy now because I'm recording both my screens for the first time ever don't know how that's gonna go over but we'll see about that um, you can monitor your RAM which I have 8 gigs in full and I'm running about 5 right now uh, the network traffic, uh, how's that all going? Then the date across here, 
And then for some reason, I think the coolest part about Rain Meter is just the fact that I can have like 15 clocks on my desktop. Um, so for me at least, it doesn't really affect my uh, my system too much at all, really. I mean, it might jump up uh, 1%, but uh, when lesser systems, I do give a warning of running this many configurations. Uh, there is actually a warning when uh, opening up the Enigma theme, I think it was, that said you shouldn't run this for more than a set amount of time because you know it'd just be pointless. But I have the extra proce extra processing power to uh, run this, so you know I like all my clocks, clock, 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 and clocks around the world, and yeah, all kinds of configurations. Um, let's move on to the next part of Rain Meter, which uh, if you right-click Rain Meter and go to Themes, you have a set amount of themes that you can save. So the theme that I have right now, the how they're all organized and how they're all moved around, is called Bars. So if I were to change it to Enigma, for instance, it will automatically change to the Enigma theme. Then everything you see here is movable, even the sidebar. You can move it over here, move the clock here, or you know you can have feeds from your favorite websites with RSS feeds. And you can have a second start bar, which is down here, which you can move that to, move it to the center of your screen if you want to. Um, or if you want to go back to your old theme, just go to themes and go to the last theme you're at, which mine was bars. To save a theme is quite easy as well. All you do is you move it around the way you want it. You move all your configs around to wherever you want them. Then you right click themes and manage themes. Now here's all your themes so you can rename them, delete them to your liking. If you would like to save your new theme then you just click in the save box, name it something and then hit save and that will be up for next time. Uh, the only problem I've had with rain meter so far is I would be running a game like Call of Duty or something of the sort and it would uh, change the screen resolution of my screen and it would push all the rain meter configs over to one side and then when I exited out of Call of Duty they would still be over to the side however it is it does that off and on so it's not really a big deal to me and even when they're all over there I don't have to move them all back because then all I'd have to do is right click themes and hit my bars back so if you want more configurations like I have than the included Enigma and Tranquil then a good place to get that is customize.org where you can find rain meter skins and uh, configurations and everything so you might want to check that out anyhow this has been a review for rain meter this has also been a test to see if how much I like recording on two screens if you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. Simon Kangaroo, thanks for watching.